in this lecture we will learn to draw the layout of a two input AND gate using magic. So at first open the terminal window by pressing CTRL, ALT and T. So this is the terminal window. In order to open magic type magic and then press enter. Now these are the two windows. This is the layout window and this is the TKCon window. Now we have to grid in. So type GRID grid. So now you can see the small boxes. Shift Z to zoom out, Z to zoom in. Now, at first we have to draw the NAND, the NAND part and then the inverter part in order to obtain the two input AND gate. So as we know, we have to create the PMOS and NMOS. So in order to create the PMOS, we have to create a N well. So select the area and then type paint and well. And then press enter. This is the N well, then the P diffusion layer. Select the area and type paint PDF. Okay, now this is our PMOS. We have to design two PMOS over here, which will be a part of the NAND gate, and two NMOS. So, this is my PMOS. Similarly, I'll create my NMOS. Type paint and diff. So now this is my end diffusion layer which you can see the color, it's green color that shows this is a end diffusion layer. This is my NMOS, this is my PMOS. Now, the first thing is to connect the sources of the PMOS to VDD. So since the two sources are shorter to VDD, select the area. and then type paint metal before that let me create this VDD layer so select the area type paint M1 so as we know we have to use metal for any metal metal contacts now select this area and type paint M1. Now the VDD of PMOS1 is connected to the source. Next Connecting another source of PMOS2 to VDD. So type paint M1. Uh, 
after this we have to place the contact over here since we have the end diffusion layer and metal layer so type paint since this is p diffusion then p diffusion contact so we will type paint pdc in order to place a p diffusion contact Similarly, over here also select the area and type paint PDC. Now, after connecting the two sources to VDD, I'll next task is to connect the source of NMOS the source of this NMOS has to be connected to ground so we have to create a ground layer using the metal type paint M1 So this is my ground and this is my VDD. Type paint M1. Now the source of this NMOS has been grounded. Now this is the source of one PMOS. This is the source of another PMOS and the two gates will be shorted in order to obtain the inputs. Type paint poly. So this will create the two inputs. type paint poly so this is gate of one PMOS this is the gate of second PMOS this is the gate of one NMOS this is the gate of NMOS 2 so they have been shorted individually this is the common drain of both the PMOS this layer this region this is the source, this is the drain and this is the drain, this is the source for NMOS 2 so the common drain of PMOS has to be shorted with drain of the NMOS 2 so select the area and type paint m1 paint m1 this much of and diffusion is not sufficient so we have to extend it type paint and diff Paint M1 just in order to maintain uniformity um, shifting this metal layer towards left we can see there is only one space here so I am keeping one space then type paint M1 
now we don't require here to here select and erase let me zoom out okay so this is my NAND gate let me place the contacts select the area since this is the end diffusion layer and above it if there is a metal layer we have to place a contact called the end diffusion contact so we have to type paint NDC and it stands for end diffusion contact this is my source and this is my drain of another NMOS select the area and type paint NDC after that we have to place a P diffusion contact over here so type paint P D C okay so now this is my drain this is my drain common drain this is the drain of the NMOS we know the drain of PMOS and the drain of NMOS when connected they form the output now this is the output of the NAND that is A dot B bar we can see this is the NMOS in series so this is A dot B bar the axis we have to place some more active contacts over here NWC. Since we have the N well over here, this is the N well, the black portion. So we have to place N well contact. We can place some more N well contacts. Select the area. Type paint NWC. also type okay over here paint p w c paint p w c Now, we have to place the inverter over here. Type paint and well. Type paint and well. Next, we have P diffusion since we have to make a P MOS that should be always uniformity in your layout so that it looks good. Okay, now it's two from all the sides. Type paint. P diffusion you can see there is so much uniformity now for designing a inverter we need only one PMOS and one NMOS where the source of the PMOS is connected to VDD
we can directly short this one with VDD. So paint M1. Uh, layout should exactly represent the twisted transistor model, the twisted uh, diagram. Now select this area. Type pane. And diff. Now this is the end diffusion layer. After this, we have to place a poly. That is a four width, so let us make it four width. Type paint poly. Okay, this is five. This became five layer. Let me undo. Type in poly. Now the two gates are shorted. Similarly, we have to short the Type pin M1. Now remove this extra portion by selecting the area and type erase. Okay. Now We have to short the source of this NMOS to ground. Select the area. And type M1. Paint M1. Now we have to extend this layer. Type pin M1. We have to place a contact over here. Select the area. And type pain. The contact here is N diffusion contact since this is a NMOS. So type paint NDC. Here also select the area. Type 
pain in T C. Similarly, over here, select the area and then type paint polydiffusion contact so type paint pdc paint pdc Now we'll place some more contacts over here. So type paint P well contact PWC here also. Type paint P well contact. This is Envel, so Envel contact, and here also Envel contact. Okay, now our layout is not complete yet because this is my inverter separately, this is my NAND layout separately. Let me zoom out. You can say this is the NAND part. The portion I select is the NAND part. This is the NAND part and this is the inverter part. So we have to connect the output of the NAND gate which will be the input of the inverter. So output is a metal layer. Inverter is uh, the input of the inverter is a poly silicon layer so we have to connect it and then place a contact type paint poly Paint M1 now they are overlap and they have to be connected by a poly contact. Poly contact. This is the poly contact. Now the design is complete. After this, after drawing the layout, the very important part is to see whether there are any DRC errors. See DRC. DRC find saying there is no errors in unnamed because we have not saved the layout yet. So write save the layout as 
and 2. Now when I write DRC fine, it's showing me there are no errors in AND2. Now this is the layout of the AND gate. Now we have to label the source, the ground and the inputs and outputs. So this is my VDD. We zoom in. In order to label, select a area and right click on the bottom left and then type label VDD. If you zoom in, you can see this is VDD. Similarly, this is label ground. This is the input label A. Label B, this is the output, label Y. Now type save and 3 in order to save the changes made to the layout. Type and save and 2. Now type extract all extract to spice And then exit. Type VI and two dot spice. Earlier, this VDD ground, all these were not shown since we had not given the label. So this is metal one, this is the uh, MOSFET one, VDD, B, A underscore 39. This VDD is the drain terminal, this is the gate and this is the source, or type, double click. Now again if you want to see the layout then type magic and two dot image. This is the layout of the AND gate. This is VDD, ground, A, B and output Y. This is the final layout of a AND gate, two input AND gate.
after save, saving the layout find the DRC errors and then type extract all so now the magic file that is and2.mag has been converted to and2.ext now type extract to spice ext2 spice now extract to spice finished if you want you can see the files over here this is and2.spice if I open this you can see here it's written m one zero zero zero. This M stands for MOSFET, and this is for PFET. PFET means the P MOSFET. This is similarly the N MOSFET. Here AD specifies the area of diffusion, that is eighty four. PD shows the perimeter of diffusion diffusion layer similarly AS is the area of substrate PS is the perimeter of the substrate this is for the first PFET this is for the second PFET this is the magic file this is the extracted file now we will learn how to draw the layout of a two input AND gate without using the commands so at first open the terminal window by pressing ctrl alt and t then type magic here we will not use any commands in the tkcon window we will directly use the toolbars and the key keys in the keyboards so instead of typing grid we will enter G from the keyboard then go to options and toolbar so here are the N well, P well, then N diffusion, P diffusion etc So, at first we have to create the P well, the PFET region. So select the area and middle click on the mouse. Now select the area and middle click on the mouse for P diffusion. Okay. Now this is the PFET. Now create the layer for VDD. That is the metal layer. Now middle click on the metal layer. Now create the NFET region select the area and middle click on the end diffusion layer 
similarly we have to create a ground layer middle click on the metal one now we have to short the source of pfet one with VDD let me increase this ok now this is connected to VDD similarly The pfet two has the source of pfet two has to be connected to VDD. Now, if you want to omit any part, select the portion and middle click anywhere outside. Similarly, we can connect this to ground ok now we have to create the two inputs select the area Middle click on poly. This is input one. Similarly, we have to create input two. No, these are the two inputs. These two are VDD. This is ground. Now we have to remove this extra portion over here. Okay, that will do later on. This is the common drain of the PFET that has to be connected to the drain of NMOS2. This is metal. Metal. And metal. Select the extra portion. Remove it. We have to extend the metal layer over here. Okay, let me undo it. Yes, now this is uniform. Okay. 
now select the area since this is the p diffusion layer we have to select the p diffusion contact that is pd contact Similarly over here and here the end diffusion contact. Anti contact. in the contact here also there should be a pre diffusion contact okay and here we have the envel contact Envel contact is from contacts are from here. This is the poly contact. In the commands we were writing N, NWC that is NWL contact over here we will use N substrate contact this one N substrate contact And substrate contact. Now this, these are two nearer. Let me undo it. Okay. There should be always uniformity in your layout. So this is and substrate contact. Now similarly place the P substrate contact over here. P substrate contact. Another P substrate contact. Let us zoom out. So now the nine part is done. We have to move to the not part. So let us extend this metal we can directly middle click over here or directly from any metal contacts any metal layers now select the area and then middle click on the anvil now this is anvil and this is the p diffusion p diffusion layer this is the P diffusion layer. Now the VDD, the source has to be connected to VDD. Now select the area.
select the area this is metal now I have to create the this region the end pet region now middle click on the end division layer similarly we have to connect this to ground the source of the end pet has to be connected to ground extend this layer Okay. now this is ground this is VDD we have to short the poly by poly layer we have to short the two gates gate terminals and the two drain terminals have to be shorted in order to obtain the output middle click on metal we can see there is some extra layer, some extra portion of end division. Okay, now after placing the other contacts, we have to place the P division contact. PD contact, PD division contact here also, PD contact. After that, since this is the end diffusion layer, select the portion and then place the ND contact. Similarly, select over here this portion we place this contacts because here we can see the end diffusion layer and the metal layer they are overlapped and we need to connect these two if we don't place a connector then they will remain unconnected place the ND contact it is similarly we place some more P substrate contacts P substrate contacts P substrate contact similarly we place another N substrate contact over here Now let me zoom out. Yes, so this portion is my NAND gate and this portion is my inverter. Now these two are separately NAND and NOT. But we have to connect it in order to obtain our AND gate. As we know NAND plus invert gives AND. So we have to extend this poly layer you have to connect the output of this to the input of the inverter and then middle click on the poly layer ok now we also need the metal over the poly since we need some connections we need the connection now place a poly contact over here since the poly and metal layer are overlap now this is the complete circuit of the two input and gate now 
next thing is to first save the layout so type and 3 save and 3 drc find in order to see the drc errors this is a vdd layer so now we have to label so type label vdd then label gnd now this is my vdd layer now label the inputs and outputs this is input 1 so type label a then label b this is the output so type label y now save and 3 now extract extract all and extract to spice now all the extractions are over now let's exit if you want to see the layout of the and2 gate then type magic and 3 dot mag and then press enter now this is the layout of the magic and to press Z for zoom in G to grid in you can see this is A this is B So overall this is the layout. Now we will learn how to draw the layout of a two input AND gate without using a full layout of NAND and a full layout of NOT. We will use NAND as a cell as an instantiation in order to draw the layout of an AND gate. So open the terminal window by pressing Ctrl Alt T type magic now let me clear this now type get cell earlier 94 was designed as it was a two input NAND gate. So type get cell NAND4. So now you can see a cell over here named NAND4. In order to see the in order to see what is inside the box, select everything and type X. Now zoom in and you can see this is the NAND gate that we had designed. Now 
we have to design a inverter to design a inverter first type grid then let's zoom in first create a n well region type paint anvil and then a p diffusion layer type paint p diff so we need a vdd we can extend this layer by typing paint m1 from here type paint m1 since this is our vdd so directly the source is connected the source of the pmos has been connected to the vdd layer similarly we need a nmos select the area and type and diff now the source of this has to be grounded so let us extend this metal layer type paint m1 now this is a ground layer you can see it from here this is the ground now the source of the end fit is also grounded so type paint m1 now vdd ground over next is the poly layer the connection of the gates type paint poly and here type paint m1 the extra portion can be erased now we have to connect the output of the nand as the input of the inverter so let us extend this metal layer type paint m1 and over the metal layer we have to place the poly layer so type paint poly if we want we can also extend this type paint poly now this is the poly contact type pane poly contact similarly we have to place here the other contact pane pdc here also pdc paint pdc paint ndc and 
and here we have the P well contact paint P well contact paint and well contact paint and well contact now we can save it as save and four okay and this is our final output so let it be out we'll name this as label y so this is the output of a NAND gate this is the output of the OR gate In the similar process you can type extract all extracting NAND4 into NAND4 extracting AND4 into AND4.axt because we have taken as instantiation so we can see there are two extractions now extract to spice extracts to spice finished now let us exit type VI AND4 dot spice so you can see here the pipette there is a path written over here the others remain the same type but there are many changes due to the instantiation so you can see here nand4 underscore 0 slash vdd directly vdd is not written nand4 underscore 0 slash vdd because if you remember the instantiation was NAND4 below it it was written NAND4 underscore 0 it was the instance name similarly NAND4 underscore 0 slash A and similarly over here NAND4 underscore 0 slash VDD if you want to see the layout again type magic and 4 dot MAG so now you can see this is the NAND the portions that we have added is written separately it, show, it is seen separately now select this one and type X if type X then you can see the whole layout you can see the shader portion is your instantiation and the unshaded portion is your drawn layout so this is the layout of the and 2 by using instantiation